everybody it's Catherine from in the pink designs happy Friday my project today is a box that measures two and a half by three and a half by one and inside I have last year I got an ornament a book ornament for my girls and this year I got one too well two of them and I loved it it's a Christmas tree made out of books with the cup of tea and then a star on top I just thought it was great but you could easily fit some treats or candy canes or anything like that inside. I have a new host code. Please put that in for any purchases under 150, not including your shipping and tax. And I will send you a little something in return. Okay, so I'm using the sophisticated sled bundle for the wreath. And that's the wreath die and the still don't know the names greetings of the season dies for this die right here all right so what we need for this project is a piece of cherry cobbler that is seven and a half by six and a quarter two pieces of the iconic celebrations dsp that are two and a quarter by three and a quarter two that are two and a quarter by three quarter and two that are three quarter by three and a quarter and then I cut this die, this label, from the Greetings of the Season dies out of Cherry Cobbler also. All right. And also, uh, instead, because I'm using this gingham ribbon, ribbon, they call it large checked ribbon, I think because we had the other gingham ribbon at the same time for a little while, um, but it's got vanilla in it. So I'm going to be stamping on vanilla, very vanilla cardstock instead of the white. All right, let me get my Simply Scored. And we're going to score on the seven and a half inch side first. Score at one half, three, four, and six and a half. Turn it to the six and a quarter inch side and score at one, four and a half, and five and a half. Now I'm going to fold and burnish my score lines. All right, now our half inch rectangle is over here. There is one inch at the bottom on this side, and then the top is a three quarter inch. And this is what we're going to be doing. Okay, so let's start down over here. And we're going to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge up into that half inch rectangle. Go to the next two score lines and cut them to the first score line and then wedge both sides of that square and go to the last score line, cut it to the first score line and then wedge both sides of that square. Okay I'm going to turn it so that the half inch rectangle is over there and we're going to start on this side, go to the first score line Cut it to the second score line, take off the rectangle, and wedge the square. Okay, go to the next two score lines and cut them to the second score line. Take off the rectangle and wedge the square. Okay, now we're going to take these four pieces off. And then wedge up into that skinny rectangle there. All right, and then we're going to round the corners of this top flap. Nope. Okay. All right. And that's what your cardstock should look like when you're done scoring and cutting. Okay, I'm going to get my tear and tape and put it on what's left of that half inch rectangle next to the score line. Take off the backing. And I'm going to roll back anything that's over the edge. Flip it over and then attach the sides. 
Okay, so this side with the seam is the back, so you want to put that flap down first when you glue it. All right, now we need our DSP and the two largest pieces, the front and the back, long sides and short sides. Okay, now let's do our stamping. So I'm using very vanilla this time and I'm using Mossy Meadow ink and we're going to do the wreath from Sophisticated Sled. All right, and then I'm going to cut that out with the matching die. All right, now I'm going to use three Stampin' Blends, Light and Dark Old Olive and Dark Cherry Cobbler. First, with the Cherry Cobbler, I'm going to do all the berries, Dark Cherry Cobbler. All right. And then for the leaves, I'm going to use the Dark Old Olive to do the insides of the leaves, and then I'll come back with the Light to just fill them in. Okay, and that's colored. All right, now we need our piece of cherry cobbler that we cut into the label, and I'm going to put it through the hole to the back and bring this ribbon around. Just make sure that you got it straight. All right, and then we're going to try to tie a bow as high on this as we can. So we want to cover the hole and then leave enough room for the wreath. I want to get this straight if I can. There we go. I'm just going to try to get this as straight as possible. Okay, then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my wreath. Okay, and then I'm just going to put the wreath over the widest part of the label. Okay. All right, now we need our box. And we're just going to put this on with dimensionals. And I'm going to put this on the front. Okay, and then we need some blooming pearls, and I'm going to use the gold ones. And I'm going to put three of them on the wreath. So one, two, and three and that's it hope you enjoyed it uh, please subscribe and hit the like button and have a great weekend all my info is below bye